Hello there, I'm Clara. A lot of viewers are keeping asking me my lenses are burnt quite often. Why? My cutting is poor. Why? My nozzle is hot. Why? Actually, you can find all those answers from my previous videos, like the ones on lenses. But today, I'm going to sort all common issues of laser cutting machines in this video. I will also sort the solutions against the, those problems. And this video will be made into multiple languages. However, it's also for reference only, because I couldn't cover all problems you are having. If you are first time being here, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give me your like. It's quite important to me. Thank you. Let's get started. The upper protective lens is burnt, basically mostly due to dust entering during the lens installation. It also could be the vibration and dust falling off during later use, like the drawer is not well sealed, or condensation on the optical fiber causing rust and dust falling on the inner wall of the QBH. The lower protective lens is burnt. We need to tell them separately. First, there is a white spot in the center of upper surface of the protective lens. This phenomenon is mostly caused by stray light in the laser or quality problems with the lenses inside the cutting head. Second, there is a black spot in the center of upper surface of the protective lens. This phenomenon is mostly caused by burnt contamination of the optical fiber or the lenses inside the cutting head. Third, burning piece on the upper surface of the protective lens. This phenomenon is mostly caused by burning objectives falling from the top. Fourth, there are scattered black spots on lower surface of the protective mirror. This phenomenon is mostly caused by poor perforation methods, causing splashes to burn the protective lens. Generally, the height of the perforation should be raised, and the perforation duty cycle and air pressure should be reduced. Fifth, there is a fog on the lower surface of the protective lens. For this issue, we must first determine whether the fog is water or dust. If it's water, it means that the temperature of the cutting gas is too low to produce dew, or there's water vapor in the compressed air. If it's dust, it may be caused by dirty in the gas or gas hose. The nozzle is burned or hot. First, check whether the right indicator is normal, whether there's a lens burned. Second, detect whether the focus has deviated from the normal range or the focus doesn't match the currently used nozzle aperture, causing the laser spot to be too large when it reaches the nozzle part. Third, the nozzle is hot when perforating. There is a high probability that the perforation parameter sightings are inappropriate and need to be adjusted. The cutting is not stable, well first and then poor. First, check whether the laser beam is in center. Second, check whether there are lenses damaged inside. Third, if the machine itself is high power such as 12,000 watt, the cutting power may be set too high and the cutting effect will be unstable. That's all our today. Thanks for watching. I will be here with you next week. Please leave your comments below and share this video with your friends. See you. Bye. The next step is to check product brochure and see what we could offer you. Thanks for watching. See you next video.